Well, hello, everyone. It's Tuesday, April the 30th, 2024. I am Doug. It's time once again to play Wordle. Uh, our good friend Robert Blake, 4743, writes, uh, A total solar eclipse will occur where I live on Monday, April the 8th, of course, a few weeks back. Uh, how about using the word umbra that day? Ooh, that's a fascinating word. I know for a fact we've never used this before as an opener, so there's nothing like the present. Let's see what we get with umbra. Uh, oh, we get an R out of position. All right, I'll take that. Anything is a good start that lights something up. Uh, we have three classic vowels we haven't touched, E, I, and O. We've got S and T and L and N. <clears throat> Lots of big letters to look at. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we do a full five-letter eval here. Uh, I'm thinking how about the word stone. We'll take two of the remaining vowels and, of course, uh, three of the most important consonants. Let's just do an eval here and see if we can get a little more uh, intel. Uh, let's try stone. Oh, nicely. Okay, so stone yields us an O in position. And the R remains, of course, out of position. Um, so the question becomes, do we have possibly a double O? Is the I involved? What's going on with the R? You know what immediately jumps out at me? Because I'm looking at the O and then the R. And we know the O can't be followed by the R. But uh, here's, here's my thought. What came into my mind is if I move the R to the end and I can look at that I by trying the word choir because my mind was thinking, how do I work in the I? And that actually works perfectly. We get the C and the H also looked at. Um, so it feels like this is the best of all worlds in terms of checking out what to do next. So I think I'm going to go with that and it could be the answer. Uh, is the answer to today's puzzle the word choir? No, it's not. And it's not the R. The R is not at the end. And we also know uh, that there's no I in the puzzle. So that gives me reason to believe. I actually have reason to believe now that we have a double O. Uh, possibly, no. You know, I'm thinking possibly the Y at the end, but I think it's more likely that we've got a double O. So if we put the R in the second spot, and here we have OO. There's a lot of possibilities. Drool could be a, a possibility. Um, I was about to say broom, but we tested the B and the M. So that wouldn't work. Hmm. Now I'm starting to wonder if that makes any sense to me. Because uh, the other possibility would be, again, finding some reason to put the Y at the end. Oh, proxy. But, you know, my placeholder symbol is an X. Look at proxy. Oh, my goodness. I wasn't expecting to be presented with that possibility. Say that 10 times past, fast. Now I'm really, oh, boy. Huh. This is interesting. Like, is this one of those things, do I say that this is fate? Was I supposed to, uh? Ah, my goodness. Hmm. That looks extremely tempting. Uh, you, you're rarely going to hear me say a word with an X in it looks extremely tempting. But if we don't have a double O and the original kind of like looking at the double O possibilities, which would almost certainly be third and fourth, don't feel great to me. Um, like I said, drool is about all I had there. But proxy looks good. It's one of those challenging words. Ah, oh, man. We only have two guesses left if I'm wrong. However, the upside of this is we're guaranteed to know where the R is. It's either going to lock in or it's going to be in the front. So that's that's something I can count on. Um, and if P, X, and Y go gray, then I guess I have to start, quote, unquote, drooling, huh? Because we won't be able to use the Y either. Um, maybe droll. Oh, is that a possibility too? You know, droll, D-R-O-L-L -L is a possibility. Ooh. Maybe what I'm supposed to do here, maybe what I'm supposed to do here is try droll next because that would also cover the potential for droll. 
And if only the R lights and everything else goes gray, we know there's no double O. We almost can expect here that we need a Y. And then that puts proxy back in the driver's seat. Hmm, challenging either way. A little bit nerve wracking at this point, but I think I think I think I got a drool. <laughs> so let's go for it. Um, fingers crossed is the answer to today's puzzle. The word drool? No, it's not. But look at that. I didn't expect this outcome. R O in position in an L at the end in position. So there's an option C that I'm missing here. Um, okay, interesting. Oh, wait a minute. I see it. I see the next set, the next idea because we have to. Th I think the way you have to look at this is actually right to left, not left to right. I think you have to look at what makes sense for that fourth spot. And right away, the uh, the W works for the word prowl because going through just really quickly looking at the other unused letters your um r-o-l-l -L doesn't work because droll won't fit um and there is no other letter that fits in the fourth spot <clears throat> including potential doubles which can't be an o would have to be an l or an r uh, it's not going to be R-O-R-L. It's not going to be R-O-L-L -L because we ruled out droll. So it has to be prowl. I'm 99% I'm sure. Now, on the fifth guess, a little nervous, but I think we've got it. Uh, so let's figure it out. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word prowl? Yes, it is. All right. Woo, well, we we're on the prowl there. That one was a little hairy. Uh, you could tell right right from that third guess, I realized, oh boy, we could be in a little bit of a jam more so than we usually are, but uh, we worked our way through it. So uh, another good another good solve here. One of the trickier ones that we've done here in five guesses. Well, uh, I will say tomorrow is going to be, uh, as they say, hump day, Wednesday, and we're going to start with Gecko, G-E-C-K-O, so that should be an interesting one. Uh, I hope you'll join us. I hope you'll click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. We're on the march to 5,000 subs, and hopefully we'll get there uh, over the summer, and we appreciate your help. Folks, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with some more Wordle.